Thinking about family, you know, when I was growing up, I wasn't really sure how the PKD would affect pregnancy um, and having a family. But I really don't think at 16, that's really something you think about. It really wasn't something I even thought about at 23. Um, but now that I've been married a few years, it is something that my husband and I have uh, talked about and we do want. Um, one of the things my hematologist told me was that I had to be compliant and do what I was supposed to do to get my iron levels under control um, that, so that I could become pregnant. Well, I worked really hard at that, and then I ended up having a lot of blood clots, um, which I know uh, some PKD patients have had issues with. I feel like mine have been a little complicated in the sense of like failing different blood thinners and medications. It's taken a lot of trial and error to uh, figure out what has worked for me. But I think there is that concern of, you know, because pregnancy puts you at a higher risk for clotting. Um, so my husband and I actually have to go see a specialist to see if it's an option for us. Um, I think I've had some time to accept the fact that if pregnancy is not meant for me, then that's okay. I think there's other ways to become, you know, a family. Um, but I think it's definitely going to be an adjustment period for him. Um, I think, you know, that uh, it's normal to want somebody that's biologically related, and I think that's going to be a loss that he's going to have to adjust to, um, whereas I've had more time to come to terms with that. <laughs>